<sighs> well, I got the engine back in the car. I'm cranking it, trying to get it started, trying to build oil pressure because the lifters are all um, empty. So the valves are not completely closed. I have to get the oil pumping to raise the compression to get the valves to seal correctly. That's normal. However, this freaking thing decided to stop working. It spins, but it doesn't engage. The, uh, the Bendix portion is busted. And I have it here. I'm going to demonstrate it on the bench. The flywheel is right here, right? So this gear has to pop up to engage. Watch what this one's doing. Besides sparks, nothing. Come on. That is a dodo. Come on. Do something. See how that's not coming out to engage the flywheel? So this thing is just spinning without spinning the engine. Now to get this sucker out, honestly, I was tempted to just pull the motor out if it wasn't for the uh, torque converter bolts. I ended up disconnecting the turbo, disconnecting the catalytic converter, disconnecting the engine mount, removing the engine mount, removing the engine mount bracket, just to get to that sucker who is buried. in there. This is one hell of a job <laughs> with the end with the front end off. I can't imagine doing this in the car. Honestly, you pull the engine and do this job. Or just remove the turbo completely to get to it. So now I have to find the replacement starter tomorrow morning and get this thing buttoned up and resume the main project which is you know starting it up what a turd there.